Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Excel. It's a continuing series on functions that we use in Microsoft Excel for financial modeling. So we've been able to look at such functions as the EO month function. We were able to look at the year function, the month function, the text function and the day function. In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to get quarters for our different periods because we realize that in financial modeling, sometimes you might have to implement certain change based on quarters. So here we'll see how to come up with uh, the quarters and then use them in financial modeling. Almost often, you may not need the month number like one, two, three, four, and all of that in financial modeling. The only thing that you might need is the number of periods counted not according to the year, but from the first to the end. For example, in this, in this hour, in this hour, our spreadsheet, we've got up to two years. That's 24 periods. So let's convert this from month to quarter. And so here we had implemented the month function and it gave us the different months uh, in numbers. So what we need to do here is we are trying to get quarters. So the first quarter ends in March and it has three. And every quarter, quarter has three months. So if we divide three by one, sorry, by three rather, we are going to get one. And that's for the first quarter. The end of the second quarter is in June. And if we divide six by three, we are going to get two for the second quarter. But the challenge is to ensure that the months before the closing month of a quarter also carries the quarter number. So what do we do? So here we're going to come to this cell where we had uh, used the month function to derive the number of the month. And what we do is just divide it by the number of months in a quarter and that's three months. Here we don't want to date, it could go general. So this is what we have here and uh, even if we copy it down, I want you to notice that at the end of every quarter, we just have the quarter number. So what we do at this point is to bring in another function that we use in financial modeling and this time it's the round up function. So we're going to round up. We're going to round up this number we got from the month function and we're going to put the comma and then close the bracket and hit our enter button. Notice that the first month January now has the number one and so we can extend it to all of them. We can extend it to all of them now. So you can see that we have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. So when it comes to a new year, it starts from quarter one again and on and on like that. So in this way, we can detect changes in quarters and implement any changes that we might want to uh, do in our model uh, based on our quarters. I hope you understand this and you learned something from this video. There are more videos coming up on functions that we use in financial modeling. So you may want to subscribe so that you could have um, documented in your YouTube uh, these videos that you want to go back and again to learn from. I also appreciate you make comments in things that you feel that you may want me to cover or maybe aspects that you felt that I should have covered better than I did. I will appreciate that. And so that everybody gets to learn something from this uh, tutorial. 
Thank you for watching.